The city of Damascus County has officially approved the new area for the university. The idea is that we build a five-star university making good use of all the knowledge that we have within the city. The goal is that this university will be famously acclaimed internationally and will attract a lot of different students from all over the world. This will also help with the growth of the new IT and residential areas just next to the land that was considered for the build of the university. Welcome back to Damascus, welcome back to City Skylines. And today we have some plans in here. I will give you some tips on how to decrease the amount that you pay for your district, uh, pedestrian district. So if you take a look at the maintenance costs, you have a very costly value that you pay depending on the number of cells you have. And I'll give you some tips on how to make that a little bit lower and so you can save some money and increase your budget for the city. We are also improving the skyline. We have plenty of demand for industry or offices and I want to use some unique buildings in there as well. And we are um, redoing the university because as you can see, we still have a lot of demand and we can improve it. So I'll start potentially with this so we can uh, start increasing the the level of the university and while we do that I will go in there, update the skyline over here, add some more IT cluster and increase the size of this residential as well because I believe we might need that very very soon. So that'll be the goal for today but before I go there I just want to show a couple of things that have changed. So we had trees uh, sticking through the the line in here, the train line. So I put a, an extra node in there and I've removed those trees. So basically just making sure that we have this space around here. So that's more than enough. The same over here. We can go a little bit closer there and in here we have a new node in here. So this is just grass and then we have trees around there. This was one of the chains. And the other one, which was a bigger one, was this interchange here. I completely redone this because I wasn't happy on how this was looking. Now I'm a lot happier and yeah, I think this will work a lot better for us in, in terms of uh, traffic flow. We also were missing one connection. I believe are we still missing one connect? No, we are not. <laughs> so basically to go from here to there, cars were, were having to go in here, go to the roundabout, go back and cross. Now they go underground and they show up here. I think this is called a two-quarter clover four-way interchange. I think that's how it's, it's called, but I'm not completely sure about this. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've done there. Hopefully this works a little bit better and yeah, I will jump into this episode. So starting with the university and then as soon as I finish this, I'll be back and we'll talk a little bit more about the costs of the maintenance on pedestrian areas. So see you in a couple of minutes. Get locked down. 
And just like that, we are done. So I think this university came up like really, really nicely at the end of the day. There were a few changes along the way. I was building this from this main pedestrian road in here. This main road was over here. And what I've done, I shift everything else to the right because I want to build or to use this a little bit smarter. Uh, these buildings in this area a little bit smarter as well and I think it was the right decision because then we were able to fit so much in here. I've also increased uh, a little bit of the size of the land in here so we could fit these buildings in there and this one over here but let's go into some of these buildings because they are quite awesome. So this university, we have now a five-star university, Damascus County University. We have the School of Science, which will... Oh, I won't remember from the top of my mind, I have to take a look. So if you look at here, those are the some of the special buildings of the university. We have the School of Science. Their income from all specialized industry is increased while reducing city pollution and electricity consumption. So that's an also building. We have this one, which is the School of Law. So crime rate and police department upkeep is reduced throughout the city. And we have this building over here, which is the School of Medicine, uh, which increased the ambulance count and patient capacity across the whole city. So that is awesome. Like this is not just teaching the students and getting them educated, but it's also helping our city uh, in terms of giving us more money, reducing crime rates, increasing uh, people's health, and that's awesome. So we also have our American football stadium. And well, we won some, we lost some. I'm pretty sure that this will happen from time to time. But we now have this over here and I love the place where it is because then at the back here we have our train line that will come across and cross the river. We have our highway and this is pretty well used space. But you might have noticed as well that this area at the back in here is also filled up and we actually finish all of this including the tailing. So there are some monuments, some uh, unique buildings in here and I'll go through some of them. We, we did that just to help with the skyline and I just noticed that we might need like some, uh, well we have some trucks coming so hopefully they'll sort this out but we do have the transport tower which fits very well in this area. We also have this building which is the off zone landmark this is a unique building for the for the pedestrian area just hard to see because we have like quite a lot in the middle but it's a pretty nice building it's one of the unique buildings we do have as well this building over here which is the pyramid oh they are sorting out i just saw an icon going away <laughs> pyramid of safety which is basically uh, a building that, well, this says commemorates how a disaster hit the city with no lives lost. Uh, we even locked this because when we started the city, I had disasters turn around and there were disasters happening all over the place until I noticed it. And now we have that monument and I decided to put it down over there. I quite like it. I, I really like the, the way it looks. And then we obviously have the uh, sea and skyscraper and also the observation tower around here, which is quite nice. And this one, no, it's not this one. I'm pretty sure I have one more unique building in here that I can't see, that one, yeah. And this one, this one we had before, residential zone landmark, and this is the commercial zone landmark. So all these buildings are unlocked in the unique building, in the pedestrian area landmark tab, and now we have the Museum of Postmodern Arts that we can add in here. Maybe we, we add later on. But that's the new area in here. Uh, we finished and expanding the residential. As you can see, 
we still need a lot more residential in the area so I thought that was good to have and but this area is pretty busy and it's working quite well actually I'm I'm impressed even if you look at uh, traffic flow uh, we have 82% it goes from 82 to 84 there are some points where some from time to time we get some um, some traffic but then like in just a few seconds it starts going away this roundabout there is a lot of cars coming here and a lot coming through there so it gets a little bit uh, busy but all in all I think we're doing really well but yeah I am happy with this build I'm happy with the university how that looks I want to make it integrated with nature and I want to have like green area at this region over here and I also want to make sure that we could like integrate the university with this area in a way that we could have all the buildings that we wanted in there and at the same time we could have this feeling of having a lot of green around the university which I think it should how it should be but that's all for today if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave a like also leave me comments I always appreciate all your comments and all your help and thank you for all the patrons as well uh, I really appreciate your support and for everyone that are always commenting helping giving names for areas and all of that stuff I really really appreciate all your participation in this build so thank you and I'll see you next time bye bye